All right, everyone, the moment I've been waiting for. It's 10.10 on Sunday, October 24th. Full self-drive version 10.3. 2021.36.5.2 and here you can see added full self-drive portfolios or profiles that allow drivers to control behaviors like rolling stops, extended passing lanes, speed base lane changes, following distance, and yellow light headway. Added planning capability to drive along oncoming lanes to maneuver around path blockage. Improved creeping speed by linking speed to visibility networks, estimation and distance to encroachment point of crossing lanes, improved crossing, ugh, can't read when I'm looking at my screen, improved crossing object velocity estimation by 20% and yaw estimation by 25% by up-revving surround video vehicle network with more data, also increased system frame rate by 1.7 frames per second, improved vehicles, Somatic detections, brake lights, turn detectors, hazards by adding 25k video clips to the training data set, improved static obstacle control by up, up revving the generalized static object network with 6k more video clips, 5.6 plus percent precision and 2.5 percent recall, allowed more acceleration when merging from on ramps into onto major roads and when lane changes from slow to fast lanes, reduce false slowdowns and improved offsetting for pedestrians by improving the model of interaction between pedestrians in a static world, improved turning profile for unprotected turns by allowing ego to cross over lane lines more naturally when safe to do so, improved speed profile for boosting onto high speed roads by enforcing stricter longitudinal and lateral acceleration limits required to beat the crossing object. Ooh, full, full self-driving beta. <clears throat> full self-driving beta is an early limited access, must be used with additional caution. So for all those people making videos where they're not putting their hands on the steering wheel, start stop killing it for the rest of us. Keep your hand on the wheel and uh you know you can still it'll fully self-drive for you just keep your hand on the wheel like you're supposed to and take over when you need to don't be falling asleep when full self-driving is enabled your vehicle will make lane changes off highway select forks to follow your navigation route navigate around other vehicles and objects and make left and right turns use full self-driving in limited beta only if you pay constant attention to the road and prepare to act immediately wow it actually says that people Make sure you're paying attention so you don't kill it for the rest of us, especially around blind corners, crossing intersections, and in narrow driving situations. Everyone wants to be cool, but they don't understand what cool is. Driving visualization improvement. That looks pretty cool already. The driving visualization has been improved to better support FSD. When FSD is engaged and apps are not displayed, the driving visualization will expand to show additional surrounding information to disable the expanded full view. Tap controls autopilot with a larger visualization. Select items has ugh, slightly moved, but will continue to look and behave the same. Nice. Cabin camera. They're going to be watching you. If you're not act doing what you're supposed to, they're going to destroy it and take it off your system. Now, the cabin camera above your rear view mirror, like so, can now determine driver inattentiveness and provide you with audible alerts to remind you to keep your eyes on the road when autopilot is engaged. Camera images do not leave the vehicle itself, which means the system cannot save or transmit information unless you enable data sharing. To change your data settings, tap controls, safety and security, data settings on your touch screen. Awesome. I've been looking forward to that. A lot of us have paid a lot of money for it. Let's see if I have to go anywhere. So first thing you need to do is go to your autopilot. Sorry for the glare and full self driving. I'm gonna click that on. It lets you know it's enabled on your model three. Do not become complacent. As in keep your hands on the dang wheels and keep moving. Do you want to allow FSD while it's in limited beta? Yes, I do. Um, 
So then you have this uh, beta profile. In this condition, or a profile, your Model 3 will have a medium follow distance and may perform rolling stops. You can have a chill, average. Let's just go all out and go assertive. In this profile, your Model 3 will have a smaller follow distance, perform more frequent speed lane changes, will not exit passing lanes, and may perform rolling stops. Awesome. Ooh, let's see what this is. Widen autopilot visualization area when full self-driving is active. Well, we got it active. Let's turn that sucker on. Let's double check everything else. Make sure there's nothing else I need to do. That might be everything. You can customize your summon. Nothing changed there. Oh, it does use auto home link. Uh, so when you go in and out of the garage, it'll automatically uh, open your garage and close the garage. That's awesome. That's a new feature. I don't remember that being there, but either that or I just haven't paid attention. And then uh, I have my autopilot on every trip. I have Mad Max mode. Uh, yes, I like it to exit passing lanes. Uh, I don't want it to require lane change confirmation because if you have your hand on your wheel and you're paying attention... You don't need someone to remind you that, hey, is it, am I okay to go? And lane change notification. When it's going to do it, I like it to chime because at least it gives me a heads up uh, just in case I'm, even though I'm focused on the road, maybe I'm looking off to the side, looking at some deer on the side of the road. Um, I want to make sure I know what's going on before it does it because sometimes semis that roll up on the side of you, even though the vehicle sees a semi, it doesn't recognize how long the trailer is and you don't want to run into the trailer. So I believe that's everything, but let's just double check. It's not going to be anything different here. Display shouldn't change anything. But I, I always like to double check everything. We already did this. Uh, regenerative braking, sport, yep, autopilot, we already did. Navigation, we're all good. Safety and security, nothing new. Double check, service, that's just service mode. Software. And, uh, you know, this is a two-year-old vehicle. I bought it in 2020. It's already got 42,000 miles. You can see that I drive it quite a bit. Um, there's your latest release. release, And we're good. All right, let's give it a test drive. Foremost, notice it already has auto drive on. And normally it doesn't. And there's no lines in the road. So I'm going to engage it. And we're going to try this out. It knows to stay clear. Now turn right onto Prospect Road. And it's fully driving on its own. This is awesome. We're going to test this out. Again, there's no lines in the road. 500 feet, turn left onto North Crystal Lake Road. Again, keeping the hands on the steering wheel, but now it's going to be North taking Crystal this left. Road. It's doing it all by itself. It's kind of creepy at the same time, just letting you guys know, but very impressed. The only thing I'm noticing is if you notice here, I'm a little off into the left of the lane. It should be uh, closer to the right side of the road. There it goes, it's correcting itself. I got my hands on there. In 500 feet, turn right onto State Road 33. Now turn right onto State walking. Road 33. kicked it out because I didn't see that car coming so there'd be something so I'm gonna do something real quick it's driving I'm gonna send that video I think that's all I do is tap the button there it goes in 1,000 feet turn right to take the US 151 east ramp toward yeah. 
it's a little blind spot, but it didn't see that other vehicle coming. I don't know if that's something that can be corrected or not, but uh, it didn't see that vehicle. Again, I took over uh, on that one turn because I didn't want it to pull out in front of a car. And it's doing that. Nice, very nice. Let's, uh, let's get rid of the sound here. So you only hear me. Oops. I like how it automatically switches the things over, like so. And it's looking, make sure it's safe, that's good. Nice, now what's weird to me is, uh, it must be just when it's on a highway, it automatically took off the uh, full self-driving visualization. But not bad, not bad. Right now, the driving that it's doing is back to its normal view. I don't know if it'll always do that. Um, you know, this first time ever uh, doing this, so I just kind of want to give you my perspective from someone that's never done it, watched maybe a couple videos of other people's on the uh, first release, you know, back when it was beta testers, whatever you want to call it, the uh, elite of the elite that got it, you know, tested out. I kind of actually like that it went back to this visualization, to be honest. Um, I think this one's more clear and smooth. The other one just kind of gives you a lot when you're in busy areas or busy traffic. But uh, I definitely like it. Um, and then you have your map again, full scale. But well, yeah, when you're in town, it's kind of nice seeing the other because you want to make sure it's doing everything safe. So far, uh, you know, this part I'm already very familiar with. I, like I showed you before, I have 42,000 miles. Out of that 42,000, I'd say the car's driven at least 41,000. Uh, the rest is me manually driving, you know, for a left and right turn, which doesn't even make up that many miles. And then uh, I've obviously, as you've seen in my previous videos, I race this car. So uh, when I go down the drag strip or anything like that, or circle tracks, all the above, uh, obviously I'm gonna be the one driving it. So for all those people, you know, Porsche, all the above, oh, you buy a car to drive it? Well, you do, and I do, but at the same time, when you want that luxury of it driving for you, it's really nice. So, uh, can't complain, and you know, that's a bad comparison. You buy cars to drive. So, it's doing this all fine once it gets back into town. Um, we'll test it out again. Random thing I noticed, you can see the tail lights over there. They were actually tapping their brake. I thought that was kind of a new visualization. You can actually see it. Let's make sure it ain't safe. And it's driving. Nice. Very smooth. Purposely took it on an off ramp and uh, wanted to test it out again. Now it's automatically speeding up. I noticed the steering wheel is a little more sensitive. Um, not gonna lie, uh, I had my hand on the steering wheel like I normally do, and then um, it said that my hand wasn't on the wheel and gave me an alert and uh, asked me to put it back on and then it kicked out my full self-driving. So it's a little more sensitive, so you gotta put a little bit more, call it tension, pressure, whatever, on the wheel itself, but uh, pretty awesome. All right, we got my Dunkin' Donuts, and uh, heading back. So things to remember, as you can see here, I'm going only five over. Uh, that's a preset, but once you hit 80, it will automatically kick out your full self-driving. So just keep that in mind. So if you give her a little uh, throttle, sleepy deer, give her a little throttle, it will uh, take it out. But um, 
As you can see, I'm uh, just filming with my phone, but probably going forward, I'll start using my GoPro and start doing a day-to-day -day film. I was excited to get my full self-drive. I've been waiting on this for years, just like everybody else, but uh, really glad, really pleased. You know, first initial thoughts, like I showed you, it made a mistake with the no line in the road and kind of was more into the center than it was to the right of the shoulder. Uh, nothing bad. I think that's probably an easy fix for them. Other than that, uh, the only other thing was that one turn so far. Um, it didn't see the blind spot, so it couldn't see a vehicle coming where, you know, I know that road pretty well. Cars are going, you know, 55, 65 miles an hour. And uh, if it were to creep out, it would have probably got smacked. So, again, you got to still use your brain and uh, have your hand on the wheel, know what you're doing. But uh, for the most part, uh, I'm really pleased with how well and smooth the turns are. It's a lot better than I thought. I figured it might be kind of like the uh, summon feature where the turns are a little choppy. But uh, so far, so good. Here in a minute, as you can see, we're going to have a turn come up. So we'll see, uh, see how well it does going back to the house. I'm kind of curious because once we get back towards... Uh, my property there is no lines so we'll see if it does better this time or uh, still stays towards the center so we'll give it a shot a little chilly outside about 49 degrees today in the beautiful Wisconsin but uh, not too bad not too bad FSD, uh, new visualization. Let's see what happens. So far, so good. And there you go. Automatically change the display, move the uh, thing to the right. And I'll be curious, this is pretty busy intersection for the most part for a stop sign. Let's see how it does here. Automatically turn my signal on. And of course, I'm going to be very cautious and have my foot on the uh, pedal there. Oh, I must have accidentally kicked it out. That's all right. We'll re-enable here. Oops, and this car's automatically. And you can see that was me. I took over. I don't know why that car didn't see me coming. Definitely like the uh, bigger visualization there. Let's see if it'll make this next turn for me. And some of it's me, just so you guys know. Uh, I get a little nervous, it's something new. I wanna make sure it doesn't do anything wrong and I, I might oversteer or overcorrect and automatically it'll kick it out. So here's a turn here. Yeah, I kicked it out again. I didn't like how it slammed the brakes there. All right, let's see if it, nope, still, uh, as you can see, it's still more in the center, uh, even though it shows it off to the right, but not bad. Saw the person there walking. Starting to move over. So that's good. Maybe it just takes a while. Like how it told me to pay attention to the road. They can definitely see cars and vehicles further away. I think that's kind of cool. And it sees obviously stop signs and all that. I like how that car turned blue and here it doesn't see any cars coming i still got my hands on the wheel it's kind of going slower this time there we go all right doing pretty good we'll see how it does up here again there's no lines on the road and i got a car coming 
And then there's a jogger. Man, it can see pretty far. We'll see how it does. Oh, it messed up that. And I kicked it out. Uh, it didn't see the median and then it saw it and it was trying to correct, but uh, I had too much weight on the wheel, but not bad. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about!